Hello, goaltending students. My name is Guillaume Duclair. Welcome to Goalie Smarts. Let me describe a situation you're all familiar with. You're 45 minutes through an hour long practice and your team is just not doing the drills right. You can visibly see the frustration boiling up in your coach's face. And you begin to ask yourself, why is he such a dick? Is it because his team sucks, his kids suck, or his wife won't look at him naked anymore? Personally, I think it's all three. You know that coach is going to snap if things don't improve soon. Unfortunately for you, right after coach announces that he's up to here with this bullshit, the team dumbass comes along, fumbles an easy pass, and puts coach up to here with this bullshit. This is not the first time the team dumbass has done this. Obviously, there's a reason here in that name. But missing an easy pass is one of his signature moves. Other moves you're familiar with include passing the puck to the other team, scoring on his own goal, and strapping a giant turbo to his dad's jet. Everyone on the line, now! To put it gently, the ham fell off this guy's sandwich a long time ago. But you don't have time to think about any of that. Why? Because Coach, aka Captain Asshole, is making everybody skate. This is a giant problem for you, of course, because everyone else on the ice is wearing light equipment purpose-built for speed. Everyone except for you, of course. Goalie equipment wasn't exactly designed for speed. Goalie equipment was meant to protect. It has the aerodynamic capabilities of a billboard and the weight of a small Filipino child. And as you prepare for your impending cardiac arrest, you ask yourself, isn't there a better way? Nobody, especially the coach, expects you to keep up with this drill. Why? Because when they're done, they stand around on the red line and talk about their fucking weekend while you're panting up and down the ice like a broken Honda towing Chris Christie. The reality is, none of these questions will ever be answered, and goalies will continue to be lumped into skating drills until the end of time. That being said, I'm going to give you four strategies to avoid this travesty. So without further ado, here's how to avoid skating punishments. Strategy number one, run for cover. This is the most obvious answer, of course, because you can't skate if you're not on ice. So if you have a feeling that coach is about to blow his top, simply remove yourself from the rink and return at a later time. Preferably, a time without an asshole hockey coach yelling in your face. This may be a bit difficult, especially if you're the only goalie in the net at the time. But remember, skating sucks, so avoid it at all costs, even if it makes you look like a giant selfish asshole. Strategy two, negotiate. Short-tempered hockey coaches have a history of being easy to talk to, so why not have a conversation about it? Talk about how heavy your goalie equipment is and why that even matters. I'm sure whoever you're talking to will be very kind and very understanding. Coach, I heard this thing to do Shut up and get on that line. Strategy number three, commit mutiny. Rally up your teammates to fight against coach. Chances are, if 20 young hockey players were to go up against one middle-aged coach, you could probably overpower him. So use your great social skills to rally up your teammates to fight against coach. You probably won't get that many people on board, mainly because no one wants to lose their scholarship or get arrested. You'll probably get 20% of the people on board. But whatever the number is, it's worth it. Keep moving, soldier. Fight the power. Strategy number four, fake an illness. No reasonable coach would let a sick kid skate, right? So be the sick kid. Pick an illness that's relevant to who you are. And remember, nothing stops a conversation faster than saying, I have the shits. As always guys, I appreciate you listening. If you are interested in one of these shirts, they are now for sale. Click the link in the description below. If you are interested in watching more of my sketch comedy, I did a new one about Donald Trump that you might want to see. Other than that guys, I'm Guillaume Declare. That's the end of the episode. See you next time.